Hey folks, Landstrider here. This is episode 9 of my post Phenom spoiler series, and today I'm going to be getting some firepower. But before that, uh, let's review all the things I've done between this episode last. This is the garden back behind my little original garden, and I've expanded it out quite a bit, as you can see. Uh, put some glass. And made, it, made it more like a greenhouse area, I think. And uh, that giant fan, the big fan from the, the chisel fit right there. So I was really kind of happy about that. I feel like it looks good there. I made it fit in this room somewhere, <laughs> regardless. But um, yeah, so uh, we got lots of places to plant things. Made a few configuration tweaks uh, between this episode and last. So this is going to be some updates coming. Uh, I increased the speed that the uh, the dark steel pick mines obsidian again a little bit because there was one other tool that was mining it faster, and I decided that I really wanted the dark steel pick to be the best obsidian miner you could have. Now, it has to be empowered for the to dig obsidian like this fast. <laughs> Whoa! Fall into the water. Let's fill those back in. So I'm going fin to be finishing up this uh, garden out here. I'm going to be growing some more things. You can also see that I've uh, started growing a bunch of different flowers. I've got like orange tulips back here. Orange was kind of like my goal. Um, I've also got these up here. I've got these 10, 10, 10 dandelions and poppies. So I can get lots of stuff from them. It's supposed to be 10, 10, 10. Yeah, they are. Okay, we got four each. So it makes us make leave more orange. And cutting the reason I need the orange is because from orange, I can uh, break that down and get this stuff called uh, potassium dichromate. And what I'm interested in there is the chrome. I can later use that chrome. You got a little bit of it up there, chromium. And uh, vanadium. I got a bunch of vanadium because I broke down a whole bunch of netherrack. So that gave me a bunch of vanadium. And then I need some more beryllium. And I've got some plans to get beryllium. But that's going to let me be able to make a bunch of emeralds. So if we look. I'm working towards towards making a bunch of emeralds. There it is. Uh, vanadium. Chromium and this beryllium, which is the, the B, so I need a lot of beryllium compared to these other components. I need to find a good way to get lots of that, and I think I have a good way to get lots of that. And that's going to involve the um, oxygen this overflow that I have. You can see I have a ton of oxygen. Probably too much oxygen. Nothing new in here. Uh, you have, actually, there's something new all over the base. Um, I went back through and I rechiseled all of the vanilla stone bricks that I was using in my walls and stuff because uh, they were starting to get infested with uh, silverfish. So I made all of my walls some kind of chisel block instead. So I see I got small disordered stones in all the garden areas. I like that. I like that. I thought that looked pretty good for the garden areas. It continues upstairs. I don't know if I've actually ever pointed out that I have a door back here. A door back here, and now it opens up onto the top of the uh, the greenhouse. So if I get, a, I can get up here to do some stuff. I can also see that I got something over there to explore today, but we're not going to go over there until we get some more firepower. Nothing new up here unless I've gotten something to crossfeed. Oh, something did crossfeed. Look at that. I got new kinds of flowers. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I've got new kinds of flowers growing up here. I'm just going to let this grow up here. I like that. I got um, I got orange flower there and some kind of different kind of tulip there. And something there. I don't know what that is. It looks cool. I should see if there's a uh, pack to um, or if there's a texture pack for that uh, for botany forestry. Uh, that would increase it to 64, because I can imagine that would be a really nice 64 um, flower, or 64 X graphic flowers. So, nothing new down here. I mean, I'm um, going to change these stairs. I like I like these technical looking stairs. Nothing new in this particular room. And really, other than changing out of the blocks and getting rid of all the silverfish. That was a pain in the butt. 
Uh, so here, yeah, I dug the, a whole bunch of this area out and changed this around a little bit because I was getting ready. You can see right here, I'm getting ready to put a um, big multi-block structure here and another really big multi-block structure over here for mine chem. That's going to be in the future, just showing you. I'd, I've cleared out more solar fish over that direction. There's still plenty over there. Uh, there's still plenty up that direction. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be where my uh, big mine chem multi-block structure is going to sit. Of course, I'm going to need something to power them first, so I'm hoping to get that, that big reactor started. But before all that, <laughs> there, there's the tour of, of what I've been, been uh, working on in the base. Uh, now we need to get some firepower. I also, uh, between episodes finished, um, these up, getting all these uh, dark steel components up to empowered four. I don't have any of the other special things. I do want to put the, really want to put the, the piston jump stuff on the dark boots. Um, I don't know. I lost all my experience because I've died a couple times off camera. I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, especially the last one was kind of just a silly one. Um, and you can, may still be able to hear a little bit of my cold, and, I, and that's I apologize for the, the time between this episode and last, uh, but I was a little bit sick and my voice was, was pretty rough. Still is a little rough. Uh, I got killed by a, a little zombie uh, that was wearing armor and car carrying some kind of decent sword because he killed me pretty fast. Uh, he snuck up on me while I was... Um, building this over here I, I let the I had to open and I let the uh, sun get too low before going to sleep or to pay attention and zombies came after me I killed one but a baby zombie got me and then the other two that I had off the camera let's see if I can get back to where it was I'm down to two lives right now oh, that's not good uh, were like these other unknown ones both those are environmental um, one time I boiled myself to death down in the uh, down by the netherrack i i don't know i think i got i think i put netherrack i was mining and i and i let the netherrack get on my bar and i thought i wasn't paying attention but anyway all of a sudden i was overheating way too bad and i uh i didn't make it to the surface and then the other time was me being silly and going afk and uh, uh dehydrating to death <laughs> Uh, so those are both some some silly deaths. So first of all, I need to get some live back before I can contemplate anything about going outside or doing anything more. And I kept these hearts that I keep forgetting that uh, I have. So I have a couple of these ready to go. Uh, that'll easily make one. I can get myself back up to three. And four. And these three that are left, actually, I've got some quests to turn in. So... Let's look at that real quick. I did the, the green thorn quest in here. So that's going to give me a quarter heart because I don't really care about the other stuff here. And the whole point of this one is, is just basically this quest is just to say that you're going to need some cactus green at some point. You should make some cactus for that and, and you'll get a reward. Um, and it's not too hard. You can look at that. It's just a matter of making a mescaline molecule. You can also breed it. You can also breed it in your garden if you wanted, but you can just make this mescaline molecule and combine that with some water to make the one piece of cactus that you need. But really the thing that it's, it's, it's trying to point out is that you need these cactus green, not necessarily the cactus itself. There's other ways to get this, which is probably the ways that I'll end up getting it when I need it. Is... Well, not, some, not from uh, chemical synthesis. Uh, where's that? Hemp. We got all that hemp. Uh, so if you look at the usages of hemp, you can cook it into cactus green, and you can make it with three cellulose. So we will uh, we'll probably use that for our cactus green. Uh, so we'll put that in there. Anyway, moving right along. Now I got another heart done. Heart. All right. That's all there was in there, I think. Basic tech. Do I have one to turn in here? Yes, I did have one to turn in here. Um, and that's the going deeper. I went down. You know, I got the netherrack glowstone, no problem. I didn't find any uranium in my mind yet, so what I did instead 
is because I was breaking down all of that uh, over here. Because I was breaking down all of that nether rack, I was getting uranium, and uranium doesn't stack very well. Uh, and you got to keep it in a leaded chest if you don't, if you're not. Uh, so whenever you're breaking down, I, I I might show you guys later, but we break down a stack of uh, nether rack in here, or or several stacks at a time is what I was actually doing. Uh, all these extra drawers will start filling up with uranium because they won't stack with each other. So every drawer that's not a regular chemical will start ending up having uranium in it. Uh, what I do is I just bring it over to the synthesizer and I either turn it into um, eulorium. Eulorium bars. Which is, yeah, it's a 16 uranium will make eulorium bar. And then you can store it like that. And you can see I've actually got 16 Eulorium bars from that. Actually, I turned three of those Eulorium bars back into Uranium ore. Uh, just so that I could complete this quest. And the reason I wanted that... I don't, I, the Octatic Capacitor is tempting, but I actually want to go with this Basic Capacitor. Uh, can I claim it? There we go. Basic Capacitor. going to get a bunch more of Uranium. Which I can convert to Eulorium pretty easily. For fuel. There we go. That capacitor is going to extend that capacitor bank. Doubles it up. And that one's already full, so. Uh, and I think that's that's all I'm going to do for that capacitor bank right there. I'm going to have another power cable coming over from the main power system. That'll feed into this capacitor bank, and then this capacitor bank will just basically keep these machines here fed the way it's currently working. Except that I won't need to use this uh, sterling generator much in that once I get a bigger power system over there. Okay, uh, enough of that. That's enough of uh, show and tell. Now it's time to make some guns. And I should have a ton of iron in it that I pre, you know, I made, put together. Iron. Uh, we'll go in here. Let's look at the quest line real quick. Uh, done in that the main quest line we're looking at today is in defense guns and ammo So it wants you to make the guns modification table uh, Gun modification table is pretty actually pretty simple just a bunch of iron There we go gun modification table. Let's put this down someplace uh, Cause I block that not, not really Let's see what's in there, right? Might move it later. Uh, but let me get, get this interface right here. And we can put a like our pistol in here. Pistols actually will accept four different upgrades. Actually, I think five upgrades, because this is like a another I don't have anything that goes in that slot yet. I might I've been working with the uh, configuration files with these, trying to make them a little a little bit better. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with 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 my pistol though. My pistol basically does about five damage, is like two and a half hearts per shot, and it catches stuff on fire and it burns for a long time. That's one of the big advantages of the pistol. You gotta like if you uh, if you're trying to be efficient with the with the uh, ammo, you really gotta let your target burn a lot between shots. But I'm basically done with my uh, my pistol. I want to move on. I want to make something better. Um, and probably it's going to use these cells, these AB9 cells. So let's look at making an AB9. Now I miss, mess with the configuration files with this quite a bit. Hopefully I haven't broke it. <laughs> uh, so we're going to need the Elite uh, Lens. Some, some lens material. Definitely need a bunch of iron. I think I still have the iron, yes. Okay. So need a lens. I'm actually gonna make two lenses, I think, because it's also um, in addition to being a part, it's also an it's an add-on. So if you give it an additional lens, it'll actually do better. We'll get to that, but I need some in um, bar because this barrel. No, nope, come on. There we go, barrel. Then a breach, uh, some redstone. Yeah, 
again, apologize for my voice being a little bit cracky. Um, it, it, it did take me a while to get over that. Sick. Like I said, not, I may not be 100% over it yet. But I want to get back to making some videos. I've been playing and I've been working on the uh, some other stuff for the pack. I've been working on a dungeon that's going to be coming out in the next update. What am I missing here? I got this, right? What am I, um, I got a brown breach, barrel, elite thing, right? The uh, da -da -da, iron. One of these things probably doesn't stack. So, that, that, that. Not that. There we go. Yeah. AB9. Um, <clears throat> sorry again. I want to point out something really important about this. I just made this AB9 in the crafting table. Now, that's not the original recipe that you're, for this gun. That's something that I added. Uh, that also means that when you f first pull this thing out of the crafting table, it doesn't have any NBT data set. You can see that it just says AB9 and it's got a number and there's no information there. Before you go putting this thing into the gun modification table, so if I put this into the gun modification table right now, as it is, just fresh out of the cracking table, never touched, never done anything with it, it will crash my client. So I don't want to do that. I apologize for that uh, little thing, but I wanted to point that out. But to solve that, and most people will probably do this anyway, all you need to do is load it or use it. So now we can see that it's got some some extra information there. This is an AB9 clip 25. So it's got the NBCT data. has been updated. And now if I put it in here, nothing bad will happen. It won't crash or anything. And I've added an extra slot that you should be able to upgrade this one. Now you should be able to add a scope to it. But I can also add that Elite Lens. And when you add the uh, the lens to any of the uh, laser guns, basically it just doubles the damage uh, of the base damage. So definitely a modification you want to do. You just take it back out of the middle there. There's other things you can do to modify. I think like over here you can actually have different colors and stuff. I'm not sure how this works over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that if there's different model color color models for it, that'll show up over here. I don't have any of that. This is an additional modification slot. Uh, and this is a scope slot. This one doesn't have a uh, um, grip or the other uh, stock slot because it really doesn't, it wouldn't help it that much on the rifle. Now, hopefully, if I didn't mess up the uh, thing too bad, this should now be uh, semi auto instead of burst. It, this, this gun was on burst before. <laughs> oh, much better. Now I don't use like um, three rounds every time I fire. Okay, much better. And then uh, scope. Can I zoom? No. Scope is pretty good though. It seems good. Now, if I add another scope to this, I might. If I add the actual scope to this, I want to see if that actually improves the zoom. Uh, it's really cheap. Recipe there. It's just two lenses, <laughs> two lenses, and a piece of redstone. Oh, it's got to be in the middle, I guess. Yep. Yeah, it's incredibly cheap. I didn't really realize that was that cheap. It's hilarious. That well, should well, does it work? No, it's not accepting it. Okay. Something I messed up in the configuration file. You you guys, when when you guys... Mm, there goes my voice again. When you guys are using the current version, you're not going to have that scope slot anyway. That's something I was trying to add. I might I might just uh, never mind it anyway. So uh, It wouldn't really... I, it, would, it, it was supposed to like give it an additional zoom on top of its normal scope and then add a little bit more stability to it. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, now I got this better rifle. This is going to do quite a bit more damage. I tweak the damages on all the uh, tier 2 rifles and stuff. So uh, let's turn these guys in. What do I want? I could have got the scope thing there. Whoops. Um, probably another lens. 
I'm gonna do anything. I'm gonna put that lens on my. There we go. Right you can just combine two of these to get the uh, the clips for the AB9. And then just keep on tracking. Uh, okay, so I think I've got a better rifle. I don't know if I want to go up to another tier rifle or not. Let's see, what's this one going to give me? It's going to give me a whole bunch of ammo. And another part. I don't even know what part I would need. Uh, I'm going to take this dock. I'm probably going to put it on my pistol. Uh, or I could um, build one of these. This one's pretty nice. Uh, this one has a full auto. Basically, you hold down the right button, it just continues to, to ooze out rounds. But you can, um, you know, do some controlled shooting with it. Maybe 24. Mm. Yeah, I did t slightly tweak the damage and all. Like I said, I did slightly tweak the damage on all these guns here. These. Uh, this one's a little bit higher than it was. This one's a little bit higher than it was, so that it's higher than this one. And then I greatly increased the uh, damage on the sniper and changed some things in that. So um, it should do some one shots if you if you give it all its modifications. Should easily do one shots. <laughs> uh, but it's a long it's a long re uh, reload time on the or refire time. Uh, one thing I like about this one is uh does have pretty good refire time. I should probably put my armor on and use my jetpack and stuff, right? There we go. Uh should drop off all these things that I don't need. So I'm using just a dark helmet. I'm gonna put some night vision on that. Uh, and then I want to get the speed on the leggings, and I want to get the uh, pistons on the uh, on the boots. But right now, I don't even have the experience. So uh, the other thing I should bring with me if I'm going to go out at all is I should bring that other. Uh, there it is, this camel pack. But before I go out with it, I should actually fill it with water. One of my water bottles disappeared. Where'd he go? Oh, it's okay, because I want to take that plus four more bottles of water. So there we go. I know, I know there's another bottle of water in my inventory somewhere. It'll show up. <laughs> It'll show up in a minute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill up on my food before I leave. I'm gonna take a little bit with me. I'm gonna take some. I'm gonna take a triglyceride in case I in case I get hungry. And I don't know if I need more torches in that or not. Let's see here. I'm turning stuff in there. I don't have the quest in yet for the exploration. So, uh, but the main thing I want to go out and look for is I want to go out there and see the other bottle showed up again. Uh, the main thing that I want to go out and look for is I want to go out and look for a blaze hive. Um, I don't know that I'm 100% prepared for that because I really need some kind of fire resistance. Uh, and I don't think I make the potion. Well, I can't make the potion until I find the, uh, the blazes. <laughs> so. Okay, and uh, here's the thing. I don't think I want to go that direction too much. I don't want to go east too far because if I go over there. Wow, that's, that jetpack's nice. If I go over there too far, then I'm going to run into something that, that, that I don't want to spawn yet. Uh, because that direction will spawn um, one of the uh, dungeons that I'm working on right now. But I did want to take a look at these uh, pigment villages. There's a couple of them really close to my place right here. The sun about to go down. Dang it. Okay. We can't have that. We can't have the sun going down just as we're going out. So let's go uh, sleep that off. And then we'll go out fresh in the morning. I think I got everything I need. I think.
Lots of ammo for my rifle. That's been upgraded. The lens, so hopefully take them down pretty fast. You can also open an interface for my jetpack. So if I wanted to, I could like toggle hover mode from there so I could hover mode. And I think there's a toggle button for hover mode. Was it F? And no, let's turn the engine off and on. If the engine's off, yeah, you just fall. <laughs> Actually, that's not bad. That way you can uh, just toggle the engine and you can stay in hover mode. So like when you don't want to use the jetpack at all, you can just be off. Okay, where are the, where are the pigmen at? They should be coming at me. I don't see no pigmen. Where you guys at? And I know they're gonna spawn as soon as I get close to that build to the buildings. They should be spawning. Man, I don't I don't want to give it away too too soon where the, the spawner's at. Where why aren't you spawning, spawner? No. There it is. There's some pigmen spawn. <laughs> they will spawn hostile. So what's in here? Oh, all kinds of food. Books. Yeah, I don't know if these treasures are balanced right now. I might change these in an update for sure. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even want all this stuff. Do I really want any of this stuff? Leather, armor, potatoes, carrots. I don't, know, I don't I don't need no sulfur. Broken quills. I don't know. Well, I might need some of that I'll come back and get it if I need it. Okay, so two shots. Takes out one of these norm normal one a uh, normal pigment anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Ooh. Ooh, that was not fun. Should have brought some penicillin. Am I not hitting him? Yeah, that's a nasty one. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what's causing that little uh, little mark to stay there. I think it's got something to do with when I updated Java 8. Crazy. Okay, we want to get rid of that spawner. Um, we want to heal up first. Okay. Well, since we're not too far from the uh, from the base, I'm just going to have a right back over here and grab some penicillin real quick. That would be a really great thing to do. Okay, I want—I left this. By the way, I left this here so you could see how I was doing this. Most of these are just yeah. This is, this is like the transparent. This is regular scaffold, but they get the glass to stay to stay suspended in this three by three area. What I'm doing is I'm using a carpenter's block and then I'm filling that back in with uh, using the glass on that, and it gives it you know gives it the structure of the, the carpenter's block instead of just the glass. <laughs> Let me in. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit of that. Get a little bit of that. Do I have penicillin ready to go? Doesn't look like it. Um, let's see here. Get the book out. Penicillin should be on here. Yeah, that's one of the first things I made. Oh, that should be good on those. Uh, probably don't need the ice right now. I got a head. Yeah, I do like the I do like the jetpack. All right, I need to get rid of that spawner. It's this one's a pretty it's kind of obvious. I mean, it's it's right there under the. Yeah.
I thought I had fixed this so that this wouldn't happen as often. Where this is caved in right here. Not that bad though, I guess. Alright, let's see what's in here. This is the good one. Ah, just a bunch of iron. Uh, usually that's the good one. Oh, okay. Okay. Where's he at? Oh, he looks, he looks mean. No. Yeah, you can blast right through glass panes and stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, those leaving those dots behind is really annoying. I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's if that's just a function of uh, if we want to update it to Java eight or if that's or some kind of fragment rendering. Ah! Bugger! Yeah, this is the big house, though, so... Did I get them all? Oh, there's a head collar thing there. Okay. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Ouch. Oh cool, they dropped zombie heads, that's good. I need zombie, I need heads in general. Where'd that go? Oh, I want that spawner. Inventory is full? No. Whoop, little lag, lag thing there happened, I don't know. Yeah, all this stuff. There we go. Now I'm picking it up. Some of it. Uh, don't I need? Don't need zombie flesh. Don't need sulfur mushrooms. Want all these blocks though? Ooh, there's a beehive under there too. There's a water hive. That's kind of an interesting discovery here. I mean, it had nothing to do with the village, but. Let's check these two chests back here. Iron armor, a bunch of food stuff. Okay, nothing particularly great. Uh, this is the nicer house too. So it's got the it's got an oven. Oop, there was some stuff in there. There was some stuff in the oven. Definitely worth picking that up. Uh, and there's a portable tank here too, so I don't know if I want to get that right now or not. You can also grab the, uh, I mean, if you put out the fire, you can grab this uh, raw meat block. And then you can convert that down into meat ingots, cook them, and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is a pretty rich, rich uh, house right here. Let's see what we got over here. Let's just get rid of the... Uh, Spawn real quick for it. I should be able to pick that up. Yeah. Three broken pigment spawners. So yeah, I'm gonna have a quest that you'll be able to turn these some of these pigment spawners. You're gonna get a lot of them if you start going after these villages. Uh, well, speaking of going after the villages, should. Help you out in the extra lives because is it this one? Yeah, cyborgs. Um, yeah, I've already got eleven kills on the uh, pigment guys. So uh, you do want to look at these things, these stacks of uh, chests. This is yeah, this is the one that's got the iron block in it. Um 
Well, inventory space. There's the one with the chest. Okay. Nothing I really particularly care about right this minute. I don't need that though. Put that away. Pick these things up. I wanna get I wanna get this block right here. No. Don't care about that block. This block right here. Cause that's a block of iron. Nice little block of iron there. Okay, look at a bunch more villages this direction. The sun's gone down. But I think that's enough uh, pigment village rating of, on camera. I mean, you see me do it once. There, there's two different sizes of pigment villages. So this like, right here is a is a small village, and those are frequent. They are quite frequent because right there is another small pigment village. This is what this is right here. This one doesn't fit into the land quite as naturally, but it is kind of a nice little tent village. Uh, that right there is another village. I've also got these things right here. These are ghast nests. Let's see if I can get to it. We gotta break these clouds to get to the spawner. There it is. Ah, got it. Okay, I broke the spawner. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> a little explosion there. Oh goodness, all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, <laughs> so that's got all kinds of uh, flowers and stuff. I did not realize that's what was going to be in these chests and food. Again, this these are these are just some things that I put in there for. Uh, for now, I might change the the loot contents of these chests later. Wow, that's a pretty good loot, actually. All kinds of different flowers and things that you wouldn't normally be able to get. Peonies, azures, oxides, rubber tree sapling, mega rubber tree sapling. Those could, those gonna be fun. Ah, but there's what I was looking for. There's the goal today for for our exploration right there. And would have probably been a really good idea if I would have bookmarked my base but I can really see it right here you can see where I'm at pretty easily there that is what I'm looking for right there and let's see I don't have everything I, I got a full inventory and a bunch of junk so I don't think I'm gonna tackle it just yet first I'm gonna go back clean out my inventory and then come back so be back in a minute guys Okay, back at base here now, and I've got my batteries recharged and my inventory mostly cleaned out, but I think I can do better. And I want to make a couple things for that real quick. Somewhere here, I should have some wood. There we go, some wood. Some iron. Oops. Yeah, that's one of the cool things about the dart pick. It actually lets you uh, right-click place the block beside it. I don't know if you ever knew that. It's kind of like, like what Tinkers does. A lot, there's a lot of mods that add that now functionality to their pickaxes. Um, let's see here. We need to make. I think I need a bunch of these. If I remember this recipe correctly, here is it like that? Yeah, there we go. Total thing. Uh, I think I actually want. Uh, let's get two or three of them. Let's see. Is that enough for three total? Yeah. I'll put these uh, right up here. Tool racks. And now, like, I don't need to take my carpenter's hammer out while I'm going. I'm not going to do any carpentry. Uh, I might need my shovel with me. Uh, mostly the only time I use the axe is if I'm cutting wood. No. Uh, crescent hammer is only for machinery stuff. I don't, shouldn't need to take that with me, I don't think. Bucket of water is for my um, <laughs> for my plan. Um, and food. I, it'd be nice if I had something to, to clean that up. That that gets rid of a couple things out of my inventory. Oops. 
a few things out of the inventory there. I always want to keep my ch chisel with me because I use that for. Uh, I actually use that all the time. Um, and I could have used that chisel a little bit ago to mine all my uh, the factory blocks that I was getting picking up from breaking down the the pig houses because they're mostly factory blocks. Um, let's see here. I'm getting a little warm where I stand where I'm at. Anyway, I want to make a couple more things before I head out there. So one of the things uh, you see, I got some glycine, and so oops, I need to make some wool. Uh, the vi it's two glycine, and depending on what kind of material you put in there with the glycine, you make different colors of wool. So gly. If you just wanted straight white, you'd use titanium dioxide, which I actually have some, some titanium dioxide in there, I think. I have a little bit of titanium dioxide. What I have a lot more of is these materials that I've been getting from the flowers, and one of those is the uh, cobalt nitrate, which, um, as far as I know, I don't have any use for cobalt at this point. So uh, it's probably the least useful out of the ones that I've been getting out of the flowers, because at least copper sulfate, I can use copper. Uh, but I don't think I need cobalt for anything right this moment, which will give me a red, red wool. So we're going to get some red wool. So that's what I get from the red flowers, from straight processing red flowers, I guess, probably. Yeah. We want to make some backpacks. Backpacks from forestry. Um... I think there's two of these that would be useful for me. Not not the miner one, because there's not really any ores. But the digger one, possibly. And the other one is the builders. Especially the builders. So builders is clay, and the diggers is stone. Okay. I am officially ready to go attack that blaze hot. Let's do it. Uh, as soon as we make it daytime. <laughs> okay, here we are at the hive. Now, I could go in the bottom here, but it's probably not the best way to attack one of these things. Off my engine here for a minute. So you can see we got some lava in here. Oh, yeah, I hear blazes already. I hear them. So you got lots of lava flowing in here. Gotta if I get down in here. Oh, that's cool. I can get down in here without having any action, any any interaction with the blazes. Floppy disk. Interesting. Oh, what? Wind, wind, saw. Interesting. Hooks. Did not know these spawned. We're not gonna get into that though. What was the what was the other thing there? It's fire net, single use. We got lots of blazes spawning up in here now because we're getting because we're kind of close to where they're uh, where they're at. Now they should mostly stay inside the nest. I need to do those. I need to come. I need to to, to really attack this nest. And okay, if you haven't done one of these before, um, watching this, I mean, this is a spoiler. It's, let me remind you. This is there's another one right over there too. Nice. Further east. I don't want to go any further east until I get my uh, things there. We go. Well, yeah, right down on top of these. Again, spoiler is a gas spawner. No. The sucky bit of this is the fact that that gas spawner is like sitting right on top of the lava block, I think. So if you don't have your water, if you don't have your water ready when you break the gas spawner. That should neutralize the majority of the lava down in there. I think there's one other spot that I need to. Let's 
here. Yeah, I don't know. This stuff's real easy to break. I can get down in here now, though. Ironing it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'll shoot. Okay, there's the hot, or there's a uh, spawner. Shoot, it's not. This is not how I wanted to. Not what I wanted to do. I forgot something back at the base. All right, let's get out of here. We're also overheating, so. All right, back over here at the base. Um, something I got in here is sawdust. I'm getting the sawdust whenever I, I do my dark oak because I, I will I will throw the dark oak in the uh, sawmill to get the extra materials, and then uh, instead of giving uh, rubber down here, it gives sawdust, and that's good because I want that sawdust. That's gonna let me make some cardboard box. I can't remember if it's like this. No, that's sorry. And it's just four. Um, there it is. Cardboard box. What am I doing wrong? Nothing. Sawdust mechanism. Extra trees. Forestry. Oh, it's not accepting the sawdust from thermal expansion. Oh, that's. So cruel. Okay, uh, can I convert that? Can't make it into sawdust. Alright, can I get this out? I can get this other sawdust. Extra trees, mechanism. No. Uh, wood pulp. Sag mill will give me wood pulp. Okay, well, I was saving this sawdust thinking that uh, I would be able to use that for the cardboard boxes from the, uh, th for the thermal expansion, but apparently I can't do that. I don't, I'll have to look into seeing if I can change that later. Uh, but I can't get wood pulp, so uh, if I just take some jungle wood, throw it into the sag mill, and smash it, get some wood pulp, this should be able to make me a cardboard box. Yes, cardboard box. Excellent. Yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> I don't need that much of it. Uh, I'll be able to use this to make uh, something else. I'll, I can convert that into another material that will be useful um, for me. So I need a couple cardboard boxes. I'm going to go three. That should be enough. Because uh, now I can go back there and I can take that those spawners. I can put them in a cardboard box. I can move them, um, but the main thing is, is that once they're in a cardboard box, oops, I put my uh, I put my camel pack on, so that will cool off a little bit, which works because he's sitting down to 100. But um, yeah, I can put those uh, spawners in cardboard boxes. That'll stop them from spawning any more mobs, uh, even if I don't pick them up. Uh, but the idea here is I actually do want to eventually make a uh, a way to easily farm blaze rods and I can make a powered spawner like if I broke the spawner I get a broken spawner of course and then later I could turn it into a powered spawner from ender uh, you know ender I it's powered spawner Ooh, I don't want to go in there yet I don't want to go in there yet uh, I could do it like that but I would prefer to actually just you know have a spawner that worked if it only you know it's only gonna work when I'm right there on it right there with it so anyway Need to get down in there somewhere. Here we go. Well, where's there? Need another hole. And yeah, this stuff is, uh, it doesn't, it's very delicately supported. Overheating. 
I'm caught on catching on fire and stuff. All these fires around. They took a lot of shots versus. Yeah, there we go. Ah, and a cardboard box fell. That's hilarious. All these blaze rods. That's gonna at least let me make my uh, uh, my thing that I needed. Some potions, stuff, some fire charges, some lava, some books, iron, redstone. Uh, there is another thing down there. There's a bunch more guys. Oh. Bunch more guys. Uh, so where is it that I need? Is it right here? I can't remember where the lava is flowing down from. Maybe it's over here. There it is. That gets rid of some more lava. And then there's gonna be another one right there. That should be the majority of the lava in the. Uh, in the place, so that should make it much safer for me here in a moment. Then here, some gold, some more lava buckets. And more gold, more lava buckets, fire charges. Ironing gets lots of iron in this. Looks like I got some glowstone up in here. <laughs> Get all this iron. Good materials. Alright, I'm still overheated a bit. Uh, let's see. There's no actual way to get down through here. Um, other than to just... Yeah. Turn the jetpack back on. Oh, this is gonna... This is gonna hurt. I should probably... Actually, what I should do is I should go out and come back inside now. I'm not worried too much about destroying this place. Destroy it all up. Ooh, he's about to shoot. He's about to shoot. Soak up some water here. I uh, also need to refresh my food. What did I just do? Just put a block of penicillin in the ground. In the, oh my God. Well, save me from eating it, I guess. That's one thing you can do. You can always just drop a thing of penicillin there. Yeah, the only problem is I'm going to overheat. I'm overheating big time. So many blazes in there right now. So many blazes in there right now. No way to cool off. Uh, where's that ice? I didn't bring the ice with me? Uh, something that can help is if I take and put the... Uh, Camel pack on that might bring my, my temperature down a little faster. Wow, yeah, under five. That's bad. You can see that uh, that's just killing my uh, food bar over there, too, right now. Oh boy, and it's nighttime. And they're coming. Okay. Time to get out of here. Oh, where's my deck pack? Head back to the west. <laughs> back to the base. Back to the base. I'll come back to that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna work on clearing that out. Um, I still gotta get that collect that spawner with the cardboard box in the cardboard box. Uh, but there we go. We got some firepower. Uh, used some. Uh, actually, I don't think I died during the episode. I always die when I'm off camera between episodes. <laughs> 
Yeah, still pretty good on lives then. And now I'm not burning up anymore. Yeah, still got five lives. Are good there. Error. <laughs> And this gun's er, this gun will let me hunt. Much easier. There we go, got some materials. Some drops. Where'd that other one go. There he is. Yeah, he was pretty heavily armored. Oh. Got my inventory anyway, guys. I had my first adventure into the outside. Again, apologize for the uh, cracky voice and stuff today. Uh, still getting over it a little bit. Uh, but now, uh, I've got my exploration armor. I'm good to go. I can go out exploring anytime I want. Jet pack. Um, I'm taking that camel pack. The digger's pack. The builder's pack did actually help a little bit. It was sucking in something. Yeah, the nether rack. Uh, the builder's pack should hold most carpenter blocks. So when I go to... to attack one of those uh, pigment villages all those carpenter blocks will go into it as well so it'll keep keep my inventory clean a little bit uh, but now that I have the blaze rods so the, one of the, the main goals going over there now that I have the blaze rods actually I think I need I think I need uh, this is hilarious I, I, I throw my uh, stone in here to get cobblestone. Actually, you get a little bit more cobblestone back out of it this way because I'm processing it with a dark steel. But <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, to get carb, to get car, uh, yeah, cobblestone. Is that it? No. It's just one blaze rod, isn't it? Just one blaze rod, yes. Now that I can make a brew stand. Sure. Good place for it. Now that I make a brew stand, I'll be able to make those those uh, things to upgrade my uh, dark helmet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those together. I mean, that's just vanilla crafting uh, potions and stuff, and um, can easily get the materials for most of these. I can synthesize it if nothing else. Uh, for night vision, I probably have to synthesize something. Uh, potion of swiftness. That's just sugar, so that's nothing hard. And um, pistons. That's not harder either. And I'm going to get a bunch of experience. I'm going to go kill some more silverfish. Or go hunting at night now. That I have uh, um, a nice armor. My nice rifle. Go hunting at night and killing stuff. Um, all these drops. Sulfur. Lots of sulfur. Everything drops sulfur. Uh, glowstone. I got a bunch of glowstone out of, uh, I think, that hive. The blaze rods. Uh, now that I have the blaze rods, so, so, so somebody needed blaze rods for plutonium. I think it was for um, Andirium. Andirium. Yeah, let's make Andirium something. There it is, plutonium. Yeah. So I can use, I can use a blaze rod to get some plutonium. Einsteinium I got. Uh, you know, in the Ender Pearls, and I can get a bunch more of that out of. I can get a bunch more Einsteinium out of uh, Netherrack. But yeah, I'll be able to make some Enderium for a few things. I forget what I want to need one of them for at this point. But I think next episode we're gonna work on getting some uh, some advanced technology. Yeah, that's that penicillin over there. That's probably fine. Yeah, I think next episode we're gonna work on getting some advanced technology. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, again, apologize for the time in between episodes. Hopefully it won't be like that uh, again for a while. Hopefully I won't get sick <laughs> or catch a flu again real soon because that sucks. Uh, and But uh, if you did like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment. And I will catch you later.